Welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video in our series on BIOS and this is a video on the Phoenix BIOS on a Toshiba uh, Core 2 computer. Um, here we have a section called Others and three options available there on the Others. Uh, one is low battery alarm. What that means is that um, when you're using your laptop you might notice that Windows will uh, put a little bubble on the bottom right telling you hey uh, your computer is uh, less than 10% power available on your battery or stuff like that on your laptop. But there's also a second feature in this BIOS and a lot of computers actually have that feature enabled also uh, and disabled. Um, it's the low battery alarm. So for example here if I use this computer and I'm not, I'm not looking at the screen and the little bubble appears and telling me hey 10% left on your battery I'll also have a beep an audible beep that's going to let me know hey battery's going really low here <clears throat> so it's really nice because sometimes losing a, you're using a laptop you're in another room you're doing something and you're wondering uh, you're not really thinking about the, the battery of your laptop and suddenly, well, even if you're in another room, if it's not too noisy, you'll be able to hear that beep, which I think is a great feature because um, if, you, if you're not looking at the screen, you'll know your battery's getting low and you'll have time to plug it in before everything shuts down. The panel close alarm, not all computers uh, that I've seen have this option. This is simply a little alarm that lets you know when your LCD cover is closed or open. So um, if you enable this when the cover is closed, it beeps to let you know that your computer's LCD cover is closed. And uh, I'm not really sure of why this option exists. Um, maybe the only options that I probably see, but you know, don't get me wrong, if you, if someone out there says, oh, I know why this option is important, let me know and put it in a comment section. The only thing I could see about this is if someone, if your laptop's out of sight, someone's trying to uh, take it and go away with it, most of the time they're going to want to really you know, close the LCD screen. Or if you want to know if someone else has uh, closed your LCD screen. Um, one thing about this that might be also interesting and I've just thought about it, is the fact that if you close your LCD screen and the power is still on, you'll know that your computer is not turned off when you close the, the screen. So that could be a nice option to make sure that you don't drain the battery totally out. Uh, so these are the two options I think about, either by knowing if anyone else has been tampering with your laptop, or um, closing the screen, the LCD screen, and your laptop is still on. So that's a, another interesting option. And finally, system beep. Uh, this is the beep, you know, when you start a computer, lots of desktops actually use system beep when they start up. Is that after the post, after the everything's checked out and you know that your computer's, uh, everything is okay, your computer will beep. To let you know okay I'm continuing to boot the operating system so you'll have all that uh, black screen with the text or maybe just a logo and then I'll have a little beep lets you know that okay we're going on to Windows now uh, this laptop has this option uh, available it's disabled by default in most laptops usually we don't have beeps because uh, it can be annoying when you start your computer you know imagine you're at a uh, a library where everything needs to be quiet and the uh, computer starts doing a beep to start up. Uh, it's not necessarily a, a good idea. So here's disabled by default, but if you want to have that audible way of knowing your system is going into booting windows, well, you have that system uh, available there. So uh, this was the little three options on this other screen. 
If you enjoyed this series on the BIOS or on any other things about Windows 7, let us know and subscribe to our channel. You'll be informing new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, or anything to add to those comments that I've done on this video, hey, just put them on the comment section below the video. And of course, if you uh, really enjoy our series, well, lots of other videos are there. And uh, there's going to be lots of videos on Windows 7 itself also. So, uh, hey, come back to the official Windows 7 channel. Bye-bye.